Hi there, Sam here. Hope you're feeling excellent today. I just wanted to do a walk and talk video on something that I call the mirror. And this is the idea that your life, the external reality of your life and what you want in your life is to a large extent a mirror of subconscious patterns uh, which are really needs that you have in your life and how you are projecting them out into the world effectively and I wanted to do a video on this because I'm seeing so much of this with clients and what they see as their desires and what they need for a happy healthy enjoyable life so there's a pretty well known saying which is something along the lines of when you change the way you see things the things that you see change and you know this really fits in with how you know life how your life is if you change your perspectives and change your beliefs then everything around you changes as well which is really amazing so very quickly actually the reason that this happens is that we have an unconscious filtering system called the reticular activating system and this is a um, it's a small part of the brain at the top of the brain stem and it filters sensory information we, we have millions of bits of sensory information coming at us um, every day well every every second in fact every every moment whatever a moment is we have all this sensory information coming our way far too much it would just be a bombardment which we couldn't handle if we were to perceive all of it so this reticular activating system filters the sensory information and delivers the most perceived important bits to our conscious mind every well, every moment so you might be aware of 30 40 50 things going on around you at any one time consciously the thing is that these this filtering is done by what your beliefs are and what your perceptions are and what you perceive as dangerous or what you perceive as desirable and generally the dangers and the fears tend to create the strongest perception responses so it's all based on the programming the your life up until this point and the beliefs that you've built and also the um yeah the collective conditioning things like religion uh, the society that you're in and yeah, the conditioning, the personal individual conditioning and also the collective conditioning that has been part of your life. And so when you change your beliefs and perceptions around this, you can find that actually your the, the things you've noticed in the world really change quite subtly. And they're not, it's not that um, your situations the events themselves actually change but it's what you perceive in them so where you might have noticed threats or danger in the past you notice opportunities now instead and um yeah so this happens in all aspects of life and you know where you might have been scared of a situation before you might notice a way to actually create or achieve something you want or you might meet someone that seems like the law of attractions happen because they're exactly what you're looking for in that moment we see that all of the time but it's really you're just filtering things in a different way and noticing things you know noticing opportunities rather than threats perhaps so let's talk about this uh mirror this sort of specific idea of life mirroring your unconscious and projecting it back at you or throwing it back at you reflecting as mirrors I want to do in fact 
So yeah, what we're talking about here, well, let me give you some examples. I've worked with quite a few people recently who've been looking for relationships. So people who are single at the moment and they are looking for a good relationship or what they perceive as a good relationship. And one of the things that they do is they think about the aspects uh, or yeah the properties that their perfect partner would have so things like being lovable or funny and joyful and then when we actually looked harder at this this isn't um this is actually something that they're missing from their own life so they're not they're not finding opportunities just in those examples to love themselves so looking for some love externally or they aren't having any joy and fun in their life they're very serious so they're looking for these things to come from the outside world in the shape of a perfect partner who's going to provide all of this all of the things that they think they're looking for in the outside but actually they're looking for in themselves and what we found is that when you actually explore those needs and fulfill them for yourself well you're you're not giving off a needy energy anymore so neediness is not an attractive trait so when you if you're coming from a place of fun spontaneity joy you will meet or you might be more likely to meet a fun spontaneous and joyful partner to enjoy sharing that time with it's becoming more magnetic rather than almost like your need is kind of a repellent energy really whereas already having that energy and enables you to bring more of that in so that's an example of how it can work on an individual level and another thing I, yeah so i want to talk about now is the more in line with the current global situation with the cerveza bug and the lockups and everything that's been going on there and you know this is what we're seeing just one aspect of this that i want to talk about now is we're seeing a lot of scared and fearful people using guilt and shame in particular as ways to try and control people telling them what to do because these people aren't recognizing their fear and um and complying with what they want and yeah so understandable you know these people are feeling fearful and this is happening all over the world uh because of yeah everything that's happening and yeah so lots of guilt and shame projection going out into the world but i wonder whether these people are feeling guilt and shame themselves or have guilt and shame within them fearfulness and so they're using these techniques they probably it's probably completely unconscious they might even have picked it up from the way they were parented so i'm not saying it's anyone's fault but these aren't um you know these aren't really brilliant ways to motivate people um or to get what you want in the world for trying to use guilt and shame it's not a it's not a happy win-win strategy where you know everyone everyone's needs are met it's so we see we do see a lot of that now and yeah i'm sure that's that's a big mirror for people yeah and at a sort of global level that's a that's a big mirror that's going on right now so what can you do about this this is all very um all very wonderful but what can you actually do if you are feeling yeah if you're if there's something that you want from in your outside world whether it's um wealth or uh, oh yeah financial security even or a lovely relationship or uh feeling safe or whatever it is well of course the first bit is finding out what making the unconscious aspect conscious so if you are um yeah if you're not feeling safe 
then looking inside for the source of lack of safety and then doing the inner work in whatever way I use EFT or matrix reimprinting, those sorts of techniques to um, explore that um, lack of safety, for example, or, you know, with any like with the example with partners earlier uh, to explore the uh, lack of joy, lack of fun, lack of freedom, whatever it is in your life. To get to this, to make this conscious, one thing I really think is worth doing is a values exercise and really understanding your own personal values and needs, not the ones that society has thrust upon you. So you know, I think this is absolutely foundational for anyone who is wanting to create what they want in life because when you know when you can see your values the things that you value highly let's say those are things like joy safety um love and then if you you can then see how much of that you've actually got in your life then you might it might be that that's a perceived need in fact rather than a value and you can work on raising the amount of that in your life first of all through fulfilling it yourself and then and then once you've fulfilled it yourself, you'll find that you get more of that in your life because your perceptions have changed and you start noticing more of those things in your life. Classic example being a gratitude diary. If you do a really good gratitude exercise daily and remember to not just write your things you're grateful for, but also really get into the energy and embody it you start noticing more reasons to be grateful. Well, it goes for all of the other states as well. So you start being more loving towards yourself, but also to others, you will, exp you will find more love coming your way. If you start uh, being more trusting, you'll start feeling, sort of trusting yourself, start seeing more ability to trust others as well, and so on. And then once you've got your values, you know, you're conscious of your values and starting to fulfill them, you can use that to really create a vision for your life and then use um, use that vision to decide on actions that you can take to yeah just move towards your yeah, thriving happy safe if that's your thing free um, do, 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 loving joyful yeah all of these states so yeah that's that's how I approach it. Uh, of course, using techniques such as EFT tapping, matrix re-imprinting, whatever to, um, yeah, to clear any blocks to actually taking the action to making those things happen, which is really important too. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, just want to mention uh, that I have a, an upcoming program called your new exceptional life which is starting on august the 27th and it's really for anyone who's feeling a bit stuck and since the lockdowns has been um kind of coasting just living day to day not really and lost direction a bit and it's to help them to release the blocks from uh well everything that's happened and the limiting beliefs not only from what's happened, but the ones that have been triggered from their past due to the big global dark night of the soul that we've experienced, um, yeah, in varying degrees, of course, depending on on how we've perceived and lived through it. So first of all, clearing those beliefs, then actually exploring the values, vision and objectives for your life, and then the and then using uh, tapping techniques to really clear your path to taking the actions that you choose to take that really inspire you and then enable you to move forwards towards what you want in life so that your life becomes a mirror of your true desires rather than the things that you're lacking so yeah it's a it's only maximum 12 people it's three video workshops over the course of a week to really make sure that everyone gets onto that journey um, we'll be using tapping everyone will be doing loads of exercises to get their values understood and use that to create this amazing vision and actions for their life uh, it's going to be great uh, I'm making it really affordable because of the 
I'm aware of the current situation and people wanting things, yeah, to be excellent value at the moment, understandably. So it's £97 for six hours of workshops and a group with a maximum of 12 people. And we've already got several people who've joined us. So, yeah, if you'd like to take part in that, then you can, uh, I'll drop a link down below and yeah it'd be great or you can just message me or email me to find out more about it at sam at eftnow.co.uk or here on facebook or whatever platform that this is on and hive if it's on here um but yeah so that's a potential solution so if you want if your for your life is going to be a mirror of your inner state get your inner state to the most amazing place it can be so that your mirror becomes a shining and beautiful one rather than a scary fearful and what's the word come on uh, <laughs> uh, what's that what's that thing called when you don't do anything procrastination that's it yeah <laughs> it took me a while to spit that out okay so yeah get in touch if you fancy getting on that course uh I really think it's going to be great and yeah maybe look forward to seeing you there but i hope the information on the mirror and how life's a mirror has been useful to you cheers bye for now